The officials in Florence have reached a tentative agreement to settle a free speech lawsuit. It was brought by Project Say Something after that organization staged dozens of protests against a Confederate monument in the city between 2020 and 2022. In order for the settlement to be fulfilled, the city council must pass new parade and noise ordinances. News 19's Carmen Fuentes is joining us now with what this means. Carmen. Yeah, Kelly, Steve, the Florence City Council voted to amend Chapter 17 of the city's code regarding parade permits at their last meeting in September. And as it stands now, the amended Chapter 17 code simplifies how someone can get a permit, when that permit is needed, and the timing of getting a permit. But during last night's City Council meeting, the council voted unanimously to amend Chapter 15 of the city's code regarding noise. The amended ordinance now has specific sound levels, times of day, and identifies city zones as it pertains to noise. Noise levels will be measured on a decibel device by a Florence police officer. Now, regarding the amended ordinance, Florence Police Chief Ron Tyler says it, quote, protects everyone's freedom of speech while also strikes a good balance of not allowing one person's freedom of speech to be disproportionately disruptive to other people who choose not to be involved in whatever event is the origin of the sound or noise, end quote. Now, Project Say Something filed a lawsuit after they claimed the city used its noise ordinance to stifle them and used its parade ordinance to keep the organization in a protest zone while protesting the Confederate monument known as Eternal Vigil. Now that that settlement has been fulfilled, members of the organization say they'll be working toward achieving their goal. We can, you know, go through our daily lives and pretend that we're united and we're progressive, we're better than we ever have been, but I think that monument still standing there is a constant reminder that we haven't progressed as far as, as, far as we like to think. The Eternal Vigil Monument is property that's controlled by the Lauderdale County Commission and under the state's 2020, or excuse me, 2017 Memorial Preservation Act, altering or removing monuments more than 40 years old, that carries a $25,000 fine.